I'm going to do a test on this one too. I'll do it while they're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I'm Carla. And I'm Andrea. And together we are the, the Wedding, Wedding Women. Women. <laughs> Andrea, what are we talking about today? We're talking about gowns today. There's a couple different kinds of gowns today and we're going to talk about them and why they're important for your body type, shape, size, and why you'll love them. Just wait. You're going to wait to see. Oh. No. No, you're going to love them. You're going to love them. Wait Just and see. Just yes. wait till you see, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> don't you know always gets me <laughs> so, this is our first dress we have the ball gown and it's beautiful and why are ball gowns amazing Carla because they're my favorite <laughs> <laughs> they are Carla's favorite no matter what we do this is her favorite it is. and why is it a favorite what do you love about it I, it's the princess dress <clears throat> it's what totally makes you the princess yes. Cinderella was my favorite growing up <clears throat> and and what is good about a ball gown for different figure types? How about that? Well, the ball gown really accentuates the bodice. The tiny waist. It yes. shows off your tiny waist and your lovely curves. That's right. Are still lovely everywhere else. So but it shows off your tiny waist. It does. It shows off the tiny waist no matter what your figure is. That's Everyone right. looks great in a ball gown. Yes. And that's beautiful detailing, beautiful border lace. Everything is beautiful about this, this gown. And we can take poof out. We can add poof with a petticoat. That's so right. We can, can it make it a slimmer ball gown. Big, that's right. That's right. That's what we can do. Okay, so next one. So our next dress is called a fit and flare. Why is it called a fit and flare, Carla? Because it hugs the body all the way down to about the hips before it flares out. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you're going to show off all your great curves, um, fuller bust, tiny waist. When it gets to the hips, it's going to just gently go away from the thighs. So everybody loves this dress because it gives you the illusion of just having a great shape and it's, it's easy to wear. Not Everybody too much it. poof. Yeah, not too much poof. Mm -hmm. So if you love a if you love a ball gown, you'll still you're still gonna love this dress with a little less poof, right? Right. Okay. Next dress. Andrea, tell us about the mermaid. It's a great dress. I love the mermaid. Um, it looks good on most everyone. Not everyone can wear a mermaid. If you're shorter, sometimes it's a little harder. Although our manufacturers will cut it hollow to hem, so it'll even let petite girls wear a mermaid but this shows off all your curves and this dress is amazing in particular because it has great boning and a corset underneath princess seaming so it holds you in all the right places it's amazing yes and it also has a fun detail here where it's cut a little higher so that you can still walk because we as people have legs whereas mermaids Oof. they don't they we spin to together <laughs> we need to move so it needs to be cut a little higher this also has a great detail in the bottom this is called horse hair not really made from a horse hair. No horses no. were damaged in the producing of this dress. That, that's right. <laughs> so it just gives this a little more structure through here. We love this dress. A mermaid is a very fun dress for any bride. It's a great silhouette. Sometimes curvy girls think they can't wear it. So like, I they, could never wear that. Everybody but they can. Like yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. So, okay. So now we're going to move on to our next dress, right? Yeah. What's the next dress? <laughs> our next dress is a sheath. That's right. Why is it called a sheath dress, Carla? A sheath dress because it just goes straight. There's right. really not a lot of body that holds it down at the bottom. That's right. It's just It just follows your silhouette more down. This one has an exposed corset on the outside, which is a little mm -hmm. more fun, so it mm -hmm. does have some boning in it. But a sheath is great for more of like a bohemian wedding or someone who's a little more casual, sometimes um, a little more free-spirited brides like mm -hmm. this, this look a little it's bit more. It's a great more. for a destination wedding because they fold up real easy. They do. The they pack easily. They're nice and light, especially if you're in a warm area. And it has beautiful detailing on the hem. The border lace is beautiful. It's just a great dress. In general, the trains are a little bit shorter on a sheet. They are. They are because you. It's just. It can be. It can be very sophisticated and elegant, or it can be great for a destination wedding. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So next week on the wedding women, we're going to be talking about. We're going to talk about construction, fabrics, customization. Oh, that's exciting. I know. I know, right? So don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram and what else? Oh, you can look up on our website to Don't You Know. That's also, right. Okay. We also have a YouTube channel. So we'll see you next time on The Wedding Women. Bye. -bye. Bye. Perfect.